Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico, and I have this beautiful colored card. Look at how fun and happy these colors are. Oh my goodness. I love this card. It's just happy. So I want to show you how I colored this. I am using our Stampin' Blends markers, and they're so <clears throat> wonderful for creating bright, rich, uh, vibrant colors. So I'm using three sets of markers, four, I should say four sets of markers. I have the Pool Party, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, and pump, uh, Pumpkin Pie markers. And I'm using the Good Vibes stamp set, which I have right here. And this is a set that was designed specifically for coloring with these markers. I also am going to use my stamp -a majig No, that is the old one. Bad, Dina. This is the new Stamposaurus. The stamp -a majig was our old stamp positioning tool, but this one is our new one. Now I'm taking this stamp and just mounting it on here. And I'm using, I don't know if you can see this, there's there's grid lines etched into the um, into the plate here so I'm just positioning it so it's straight on the plate okay and then I'm gonna take one of the um, magnets for this that hold paper in place I'm gonna take my piece of paper and just position it in here like so that looks good and I'll just put the marker or the magnet in to hold it in place. Okay, next, <clears throat> of course I need to ink this up. So I've got my Memento ink, which is the type of ink you wanna use whenever you're using Stampin' Blends, our alcohol-based markers. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. And what I kind of love about this Stamparatus is that it kind of replaces the need for some of your blocks. I still stamp with blocks, of course, but then this really helps. Now, what I also love about this is if this didn't get a good, clear, clean stamping, all I would have to do is stamp it once more, um, ink it up and stamp it again to get every, anything that I might have missed. In fact, actually, there's a little bit right here. So let me just do that quick. Okay, so we'll do that once more. And you can see kind of the brilliance of that. Now it's stamped nice and, and well. Okay, so let me set this aside because I have already stamped and trimmed out one for you. <clears throat> now when I went to trim this, I just trimmed close to the edge. So in my blog, I will have the dimensions, but they're not necessarily what your dimensions will be. It's kind of based on on how you trim yours out. You might give a little more white edge on yours or a little less than mine. So it's kind of up to you. Now the first thing I'm going to color is the good vibes on here. And to do that, I'm going to use two colors of, uh, two colors, or, or I'm sorry, a combo pack of pool party and then I'm also going to use the color lifter with that just a little bit which is clear. Now I personally enjoy starting with the darkest color and I'm kind of going to go about halfway up so what I also am going to do is just put this line on here and that kind of gives me a guide for where I need to switch colors. Now the other thing about this is I want to make sure that my ink has fully dried. So that's another reason why I had one pre-stamped, just in case I didn't talk long enough. I probably did, but sometimes, you know, just want to make sure. And by the way, I did totally coordinate my shirt and my card. I do like to coordinate whenever possible. <laughs> Okay, so I find this coloring to be quite relaxing. It's early morning in my house and everybody's asleep. And I am coloring, coloring, coloring. I'm very excited because it's supposed to be much warmer today than it's been. We've been in kind of a Arctic, 
situation. Okay, now for the next color, I'm going to go right over the top of the first one and then work my way up. And when I do that, I get good blending so you don't see a bunch of lines. And I have to say, Pool Party and Bermuda Bay are probably my two favorite colors of Stampin' Blends. They are kind of my go-to. I'd say they're my two color favorite colors of Stampin' Up! colors as well, but <clears throat> I really like them. I'm definitely an aqua girl. Okay. So there we go. Now just to make this a little bit more ombre, I'm going to take the color lifter and go over the top of the letters just a little and that will kind of lighten them up and give me a little more ombre. The other thing I'm going to do is I went outside of the lines a little bit right here, so I'm going to kind of erase that, and my color lifter actually takes away that spot where I messed up, which I love, of course. Okay. Next, <clears throat> I'm going to color, I'm going to show you, I probably won't color the entire thing because it takes a little while to do, but let me show you how I colored several different pieces and parts of this. So I'm going to start with these little flowers here because those were kind of the colors I was using. And I'm going to do my darker color. Oops, I want my bullet end actually. So I'm going to color my darker color in the center of each of these. And of course you can color these however you want. You can add colors, subtract colors play around with the colors however you'd like that is fine now I'm gonna go into my light Bermuda Bay <clears throat> and color the center here and then I'll do my light pool party and then fill in the the light tips of each flower so all the flowers that have this shape that's how I'm coloring them so this one right here, I'm just touching a little color on here, and this one right here, and this one right here. So those are the three, or four colors, <clears throat> pardon me, four flowers I'm coloring with that style. Okay, next I'm going to do this big flower here. All the three biggest flowers are going to be colored the same way, and that is with the Bermuda Bay color combo. So I, again, I like to start out, and I do kind of like using my bullet end and so I'm just gonna color half of each of these petals with the darkest color I find when I'm trying to get into tight spots this is a little uh, firmer um, tip so it can you can control where the color goes just a little better than the other and the brush tip. The brush tip is great for blending and for coloring wider patches of color. Okay, so I did all of those in the darker color. Now I'm going to come back in the lighter color again. And I'm not really blending this, I'm just having a two-toned look. Okay, and I'm going to come back <clears throat> and just do that darker side a little more. There we go. That'll give me the nice contrast that I was looking for. Sometimes you need to layer the colors a little bit. And I find when you layer the colors, then things really become more and more striking, which is kind of exactly what we're going for with these beautiful markers. Okay, so there we go. One more. Then for the center, I'm going to do the darker <clears throat> color of pumpkin pie like that. Okay, speaking of pumpkin pie, we've got a whole bunch of little flowers like this right here. This one, 
So I'm going to do p dark pumpkin pie in the center and just a little touch and then I'll do the rest in light. Same, you can see there's a whole bunch of these flowers so that's kind of how I'm doing all of them. Um, same with this one, I'm going to do dark on just the outside of the petals and then light on the inside of the petals. And by the way, I think I'm going outside of the lines because if I were coloring, um, my head would be in the camera <laughs> space more. So you would see that. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these flowers. There's this one right here. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and those three, and that one. And lastly, that one. Okay, so those are all the colors, or all the flowers I'm coloring like that. <coughs> okay, let's do the light. Finish this up with the light. So you can see. Okay, very simple. Next, uh, I want to do some yellow flowers. There's a couple yellow flowers and then some little, I don't know what you call these, little branchy things. Okay, so I've got my Daffodil Delight and I'm going to go darker on the outside just like I did on this flower. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So on all these little loops I'll go darker on the outside and then lighter on the inside. And then in the center I did my pumpkin pie. So this card doesn't have a ton of blending. The good vibes is mostly where I've blended. The rest is just kind of highlighting these fun colors that I think look so great together. I'm also going to do the little dots. Okay, so there's that one. There's that dotty branch thing and then this flower right here. So all of these are done that's in that same fashion. Okay, and then we'll do the lighter one on the inside. Now I did do a little blending on this flower in that the center uses both colors of, <clears throat> of pumpkin pie. So there's the lighter color, and then I have the darker color just right in the very center. And that gives you a little bit of a blended look which is kind of nice. Now to finish this up, I'm going to use one more set of colors, and that is the old olive for the leaves, okay? So um, on any leaf, it really <clears throat> is up to you how you like to do it, but I kind of like to put some darker color towards the center of the veins and then get lighter as I go out. So there's one, and then we'll blend with the lighter. Okay, so you can kind of see how that comes together. Likewise, on this one, I'm going to do the top half of each of these leaves with my lighter olive, and then do the bottom half with the darker. And that gives me a nice look as well. I'm not really blending, but again, it just gives you kind of that shaded look, which makes it look like you are indeed a professional colorist. Okay, so and then I would fill in the, uh, the rest of the leaves around. So of course, when you're done, this is what you have at the end. It's so pretty. And all I'm going to do to finish this card is do a little layering. There's not much. <clears throat> so first of all, I'll put it on here. And I want to mention, if you would like to learn more about coloring tips and tricks and whatnot, I have a fantastic online class. The link will be in the description of this video. And it comes with some beautiful papers. It gives you tons and tons of suggestions on how to color, tips for coloring, sets that look great with coloring, all of that kind of thing. So check that out. It's also on my blog. So 
I'm popping this layer up on a layer of pool party and then I'm going to mount it to my Bermuda Bay card and that's all that there is to it. I kept it fairly simple because it's really the striking coloring that you've done that you want to really highlight. <clears throat> okay, so isn't that just gorgeous? Thank you so much for joining me guys. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye.